The Araram tradition is a tradition of delivering dowry from a prospective husband to the family of the prospective wife in the customs of the Biak tribe, Papua. According to the Biak language, Araram, means dowry. In this procession, the dowry will be delivered on foot in a procession. Accompanied by singing and dancing to music. The amount of the dowry is determined by the woman's family, which is agreed upon by the relatives. Determining the time for handing over the dowry must be agreed upon by the woman's family or the prospective wife's family and the man's family or the prospective husband's family. In the Biak tribe tradition, paying the dowry is a tradition that must be adhered to because it involves the consequences of a marriage. The initial stage is the stage to agree on the dowry amount. At this stage, the man's family asks how much bride price the woman's family is asking for. If both parties have reached an agreement, then the man's family begins to prepare everything requested by the woman's family regarding the dowry. In tradition, the dowry in question consists of a number of items in the form of plates and money. After the request is fulfilled, a second meeting is held. The second stage is that the man's family invites the woman's family to his house. The aim is so that the woman's family can see the dowry and other assets that have been prepared by the man's family. If the dowry and property collected are appropriate according to the woman's family. The next step is to agree on the timing of the payment. If the woman comes from another village, then in this process the man must deliver the dowry to the woman to the place or house that was agreed upon at the second meeting. Namely, to deliver the bride price, the man must involve all his brothers or relatives in his village. If the women come from the same village, then only the man's family has to accompany him and hand over the dowry. In this case, not all of the male relatives are obliged to accompany and hand over the dowry. When the dowry is to be delivered, a procession is held in the form of a large line consisting of three groups. The first group are those who are elders in the male family which consists entirely of women. The first group is always at the forefront. The first group had to wear traditional Biak clothing and hold large plates. In the Biak language, large plates are called, Benbi Pan, namely, plates that have high traditional historical value. The second group consisted of a mixed group, both men and women. The second group acts as an introduction. The second group held small plates to complement the treasures and amounts provided. The third group is a group of musicians or singers consisting of men and women, young and old. This group forms a line called the Dowry Introduction Line. The procession is filled with various kinds of songs, musical instruments and yosam pankar or yospan dances. This will provide a unique feel for both parties who are getting married. After the delivery team arrives at their destination, they then sign the dowry payment minutes. With this signing, the process of handing over the dowry ended. After agreeing on the dowry payment, then the Munara Yakyakar ceremony is carried out, namely, accompaniment ceremony, for seven days and seven nights. In this ceremony, the bride and groom are supervised in their respective family homes. Next, the bride is accompanied by Wur, which is a procession accompanied by dancing and singing towards the groom's house. At the groom's house, a ceremony to confirm the validity of the marriage is carried out. And they were declared husband and wife.